Slid down the hill and RJ did too. You was, bloody you, hill. These mountains are steep, ain't they? Down to the creek. Tell Nick Gillum and say, come up and hunt with us, Nick. You wearing his hat, sporting that nightlight hat there. We had it pretty easy. We only had to go down under the hill about 100 foot. It was steep, I wasn't it? It was down in a creek. RJ looked like he slid to the bottom. You did too? Did y'all drink that creek water? Drinking creek water, they got back and got them some not Powerade me. in them. Not me. Not me. Me we give the dog some water. They laid up. We probably won't make another cut. It's almost what twelve thirty yeah, by the time. By the time we get cooled off, the dogs bark what hour and a half for we. Yeah, we worked in pups on trees for a long time. Like I say, I seed the coon's eyes twice, but I couldn't get them on video. It was such tall, such a big flat canopy, so thick. Couldn't see the top of it. Quit, boys. go far enough up the hill to look at it dead even because there's so many more trees around. We just gave up after they barked that long we worked the dog. It was hot, though, because the pups struck it. We seen it flash two or three times. I'd say there, I think I seen it. Everybody shine, look, see it for a second. We just couldn't get it to so much dog commotion. Four dogs going and all us down there working in. They, they just wasn't looking at us. Like I say. problems getting it. Couldn't find it. The pups, when they was by themselves, they was getting stuck right there beside the river. Cut Max, he was down there with them. He was getting stuck. They couldn't lock down on it. They go from one tree to the other, right in the same general area. He just scared to lock down on one. Pups jumping all over him. I come and got Junior, cut him out, and they ran up there, and they all locked down. Got some good tree action, some yeah. good tree video. Yeah, like I say, both of them slobber mouthing. I hate that uh, we didn't really get to see the coon real good, see its eyes and stuff. I, I, I had a video, uh, I had it on video where I don't know if it showed up or not. We'll have to look at it when we get to the big screen. I didn't make a video where it's so steep and I was wrangling all the dogs and kids and everything up front front time. We was trying to, trying to make some videos. Like I say, all I got this little phone. Well, it's my wife's old phone. It don't have no service or nothing like that. I just use it to make the videos to upload them on. Yeah. Got some good sound, though. Good sound, good, good tree video. They say we got some good tree stuff from Max and Junior. Like I say, it's been a while since we've made one and stuff, so hopefully they turn out good. Carolina started barking a little bit, not facing up the tree, but she was barking at the tree. I count that pretty good for third or fourth time to the woods ever. Yeah, Pepper, she actually worked the track real good and hot and struck first and everything uh, as far as striking. And, uh, Carolina, she, she wasn't working the track. She was just running and barking with the others. But now Pepper, just she track didn't want to. Want to lock down on a tree or nothing like that? Move your hand. She's a. She's probably My light ain't she's hurting you. Track. She's, she's out struck Max and It ain't guys. hurting you. Was wood white? Well, move your hand. Oh, Talk to the people. Much. You can't be on video with your hand in front of your face. You ain't never bothered to do before. I ain't got it in your eyes. Talk to them. Oh, uh, you do. No, I ain't. That's in your eyes. eyes. Talk to them, RJ. Or Looks like he's killed. Out. He is from walking that far. Now, the only football field away. I just you, dragged a 120 pound deer. You're supposed to be in football shape from that football practice. I yes. didn't miss a game to go kill a deer though. Papa Randy make you, make you drag it today by yourself? Yeah. Did you gut it by yourself? Yeah. What do you think, Art uh, Paxton? You think he gutted it or Papa Randy help you? Yeah. Let's see your fingernails, RJ. Ain't no blood in them, is there? Now, let's let me ask you this again. What Who gutted that deer, you or your Papa Randy? Me. I asked him. Biggest liar in Buckhannon County sitting here on the back of the truck right here. How do you <laughs> Tazewell, Russell County, I too. What do you do? Hold the leg and he do the gutting? No. <laughs> yeah, we had a good hunt. Had a good time with the boys. They enjoyed themselves. It's pretty Feeling good. good. It's a great night to be out here. Ain't, ain't too hot. It was a pretty good walk up till the last part over the hill. We had a good logging road to walk most of the way. Back out. <laughs> and out. And then it, and then it, That's right, All the leaves are starting to change here. I don't know how they are where y'all from. They're, they're changing fast here. It ain't falling yet. They're turning yellow. The weeds are starting to fall over. Kudzu and certain kinds of bushes and briars and stuff already starting to turn yellow. It won't be long. We'll be in the, the high cotton and everything down and 
easy walking. Yep, then we can tell for sure when they got it and when they ain't. And we do miss, our hounds miss, and we'll be the first to admit, and you ain't gonna see coon eyes every time we tree. We give you what we get, and we ain't gonna lie for them. They just, they just dog, some nights they do better than others. Some nights they don't, you know, like I say, Night Junior Everybody actually helped Max out. He Hopefully, nice if he just try to hide it or only show the eyes or show them every time. Hopefully, it happen like that in the real world. Hopefully, we can get and make some, uh, make some more good videos and stuff. And hope people enjoy them. Hope they enjoy seeing their grandkids and their hounds. And <laughs> hope they like watching them. Tell everybody yeah, thanks right, for. Right, right, ain't it? Tell everybody thanks for subscribing to our YouTube and uh, following us on our uh, Facebook what? page, our kennel page, Jewel Boys Coon Hunting. We're getting steady growing slow, but we're still growing every day. You get a couple couple new likes, a couple people watching the page. Thank uh, Nick Gillen for always giving us a shout out and sending people our way. We thank you, Nick. Appreciate you. We like supporting him any way we can. Kentucky Cooner. What's that other one? Uh, Timber Mine. Hill. Timber Hill Red Bones. And with that other guy in Ohio, Nightfall Adventures. Yep, so check all of them out. They make good videos. A lot of people can't get out and hunt, and it's good for them to be able to get on there and watch and see dogs working and stuff. And like I say, hopefully we got some good videos for them we'll post. Just tell everybody thanks for subscribing. The ones that's been there from the beginning. Better not get it dirty. It's a little muddy and wet. We've had all this rain. The water's up just a little bit. It wasn't bad down there where we was at for it to be a big stream. No, it's actually pretty clear, too, because yeah. uh, RJ, I don't... I was thinking we was going to be wading the water the way they sounded. They sound like they was plumb across it. We looked out. RJ drunk some of the water. It's actually pretty clean. I drink it every time I come up here. <laughs> good water, ain't it? Good mountain water. We should bottle that up and sell it to them North Carolina boys and stuff, haven't we? Tell Nick Gillen, so you come up, you can get you some good mountain water to take back. Cold dust and all. <laughs> <laughs> I believe he, he's in the mountains down there, too. He he get around here pretty good. We uh, He was talking about putting, uh, what was it, a meat hunt or yeah. meet and greet and Put stuff. Meet and greet, meet hunt on. Somebody said they wanted to do it where there wasn't no steep hills to climb. But hopefully we can go to it. I worked seven days last week in the mines. And, and he uh, did a flat ground hunt on. Actually, this is the first night I've got to really hunt with the boys and Nick. And RJ got to come down, so it's been a really good night, a really good hunt. And I had a ball. I don't know about the rest of them. Dogs had a real good time. They in our laid back. I'd like to cut them again, but that took so long. After we got in there and got a fountain and worked the pups. Let them bark and tree at long they didn't need to run again. Want to give a shout out to your mama or papa or anybody, in, uh, RJ? Dad, any of your friends at school? What about you, Paxton? You want to say howdy to your friends at school or your teacher or any of your friends? <laughs> I got six different teachers. I don't even you want to give me a shout out? Yeah. Thank you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> That's my number one coon hunting man right there. He's the reason that I got back into it. He kept aggravating me about old Roscoe. Let's go coon hunting with him. Let's go coon hunting. I said, honey, he's retired. Papa ain't hunting in a long time. I want to go, I want to go. I swear I'll get you a couple pups. We got a couple pups. Then Roscoe just couldn't hardly get them trained up. He's just so far out. So he still does good on hunts here and there, but we wound up meeting people and being honest and got met up with some honest people and actually acquired a few good older hounds and actually have let some good hounds go to people. And they've... Uh, They've actually seemed to be happy with them. Chris come from North Carolina and got tiny. He's tickled to death of him. And, uh, Todd got Rango. And him and what, Bucky? Wasn't it Bucky? Hey. Him, him and Bucky come and got Rango. They, oh, we did that Rango. I know, Rango was a good one. Yeah. But we got young dogs we're working with now. Keep them our way. Got some older hounds. Like I say, we're actually going to focus on the Yak and River bloodline. That's going to be her. That's going to be the backbone of her, of her kennel. Make so we'll probably be letting, light. we'll probably be letting a few more go here and there. But I was tickled death with that booger holler worm dog tonight. I have to look on the paper to see how old she is, but 
Man, I believe she's gonna be a superstar. Yeah, had none. She did it all natural. So she's only been to the woods a couple times we put her on video, and that one time she cut her foot and didn't really get a trip to the woods. What? Yeah, she she actually she actually got her foot hurt right after we got her. She was real skittish, but I let our, uh, Paxton play with her and stuff. And now you wouldn't even know it's the same dog. She's just uh, she's a happy go out, lucky outgoing dog. She does good. Hey, guess what? You can move her. She jumps, run from you. Anytime like you go to feed, she'd hide. Friends. You just gotta stick with them, talk to them, go to the camp, feed them time, pet them up. They'll don't get unskittish if you're you're nice to them. Don't, don't keep beating them or whipping them or hitting them with something, whatever happened to them. It shows a little persistent. Two months, three months went by and she, she's yeah. a different dog doing good. All right, boys, we're getting round down here. Want to say anything, RJ? I think RJ wants to go home and say hey to the bed. You want to say anything, Pac-Man? Mm -hmm. Say it, brother. You're going to be on TV when we get home. Keep them in the woods and keep them hunting. Uh, they will be in the woods and let's go on again tomorrow. Let's go run again tomorrow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> let's um, go on tomorrow night. We can't. You got school the next morning. Uh, we got work the next morning. What are you going to do? Uh, we'll get them out and walk them around, do some training with them at home or something. My Lord, get your pups out and do a little old beat. Get shot and Dixie out and run around. Where is what are you? Need something to breed with his mountain cur. She's a female, ain't she? Yeah, I need to find some. All right, Nick, anything you got to say or anything? No, I'm ready to go too, really. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. I did. I just like coming out and getting to do it. Keep, keep them in the woods. Get up with Nick Gillen and get you some of that nightlife gear. He's got calls, uh, lights, hats. Best hats I've seen. I, I really like these trucker hats. We got one each. He's got shirts and uh, Lord, I don't know what now he's got, but get up with him. He'll he'll get you hooked up. Keep him in the woods. I think uh, he's selling Dan's gear now. I seen he liked Dan, and he said he, I seen him tell the guy he get any kind of Dan's he wanted. He does the big dog lights. He's got pretty much anything. GNR he needs to boxes. Right up. Yeah. Check his check him out. Keep him in the woods. Peppers done laid down.